You wouldn't expect anything of note to happen on a quiet branch line in Ireland, but if there's one thing ghosts love, it's appearing in places you wouldn't expect. Twas the summer of 1924 in Ireland. Along a quiet branch line between clones and armour, there was a small station platform. Two men were sat at the empty station waiting for the next train. As they waited, they started to hear several hushed voices coming from the station building behind them. Among the voices was a series of moans and groans. One of them was curious and peeked through the station window, but only saw an empty room with several benches and a long table inside. He returned to his colleague and sat down, likely brushing off the noises as nothing. Very soon, they heard the sound of an engine's whistle and stood up, moving to the edge of the platform in anticipation of its arrival. The sound of the approaching train became louder and louder, but no train was seen. The sound then passed them and continued down the line as if the train was invisible. As it passed, they heard a loud scream followed by an almost deafening engine whistle. The signal man came down to the station two minutes later and the men questioned him on whether or not he heard or saw anything. The signal man said he heard nothing. After further conversation, the signal man informed the two men that a man had jumped in front of a train from the same platform a year prior, uncertain if it was an accident or an attempt of suicide. He was seriously injured but alive, so he was brought into the station's waiting room in an attempt to save him. Unfortunately, his injuries were severe and he passed away soon after. The signal man pointed out the table the man had spotted in the waiting room and said, he died right there on that table. The line has been closed in recent years and all that remains is the grown over track bed and a few stations. Many people have contested the story or brushed it off as a myth, but a man still died, and for all we know, his ghost might still be there, along with the train that took his life. Subscribe for more.